Hey, I'm Jesse. Merry Christmas ahead of time. I know that we've still got a few days to go, but I'm excited. <laughs> We're in Matthew chapter 2, verses 9 and 10, continuing in the story of the wise men. After hearing the king, they went on their way. And there it was, the star they had seen at its rising. It led them until it came and stopped above the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overwhelmed with joy. They have arrived. They have found Jesus. This is incredible. This was an electrifying moment. And this is something that they knew, even as Persian mystics who may not have fully believed until this moment, that, wow, that this is a story that has been in motion for a long time. They see the star and they're overwhelmed with joy. They, they had seen the star at its rising until it came and stopped above the place where the child was. Verses 9 and 10 are some of the most fascinating about the star, because stars don't do that. Stars don't rise and then stop, okay? Like they, they're in constant swirling motion. And so the theory about the movement of these stars that would cause this star to seem to rise and then stay in place is this belief that you have multiple celestial bodies all reaching the apices of uh, their, their orbital patterns in the sky above us from our perspective. And so as they all align and they kind of cease to move, it's because they're not, they're not ceasing to move, they're just rounding the nadirs of, you know, given rotational patterns, all right? They're, 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 what you're seeing is the event horizons of multiple celestial bodies all kind of staying in the same place at the same time. None of this is necessary. It's plausible it could be. My whole life, most of the time, I've just believed this is a miraculous sign from God in the sky. That's all that I need, but it's cool to think about. It's quite plausible. So they hear the king and they go on their way and then there it was, the star they had seen and, and, they, and it led them until it came and stopped above the place where the child was. The, uh, meanwhile, in Luke chapter two, you've got some other really incredible miracles happening. Some time goes by here. Uh, we don't know for sure uh, how many wise men there were. We know that they have three gifts. And we also, based on the timeline, this, this could have been three years after the birth of Christ. So sometimes in our Christmas traditions, we can get things kind of wrong. But what matters most is Jesus. They're overwhelmed with joy because they've arrived at Jesus. They're not, they're not, they're not more excited about the star than they are about the Savior. <laughs> See to it that you and I likewise don't get more excited about the star than we do about the Son of God. Don't get more excited about the materialistic aspect of the season than you are about the Son of God. Make sure you don't get overly excited about the Christmas party and putting on a show and looking really good. Make sure you get more excited about Jesus, not about the light that's supposed to point you to Jesus. Let's go before the Lord. Let's check our hearts in a prayer. God, we see your sovereign hand at work guiding the wise men to Jesus. Lord, they were overwhelmed with joy. And it's because heaven above had guided them to now heaven here below, Jesus among us, the Savior, the Son of God in the flesh. May this enrapture our hearts. May we be overwhelmed with joy. This can be a difficult season. Difficult because there's this expectation that we're supposed to be happy all the time. Difficult because there's a lot of distraction too, ironically. May we not be more excited about the star than we are about the sun. May we be overwhelmed with joy because no matter how Far we have drifted from you, God. Your arm is not too short to save. You sent the Savior, born to die. He resurrected again, giving us victory over sin and death and hell forevermore. Let us be overwhelmed with joy because the sign that we read is your word and it's even clearer than the star. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.